Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day, a training-based episode for you guys today, a cardio-based episode. As a matter of fact, going to be talking about all things fasted cardio. So I get a lot of questions about fasted cardio, guys, specifically from people who are looking to lose body fat, asking me, you know, should I do fasted cardio? Is fasted cardio the best type of cardio? Does it matter if I can't do my cardio fasted? So on and so forth. A lot of discussion about fasted cardio. So I wanted to shoot this episode of MJ Every Day, break it down for you, break down the kind of theory behind why you'd want to do fasted cardio, and then kind of talk to you guys about whether it's worth doing your cardio faster, does it really make that big of a difference, so on and so forth. So firstly, the theory behind fasted cardio, when you're fasted, your insulin levels are as low as they're gonna be in a, in a given time period, and therefore the antagonist hormone cortisol is as high as it's gonna be. When you have low insulin and high cortisol, fantastic for fat loss because cortisol is a catabolic hormone, it's a breakdown hormone, it encourages fat loss. On the other hand, when you have high insulin and low cortisol, which naturally happens because they're antagonist hormones, very bad for fat loss. Almost impossible to lose fat when you have high insulin and low cortisol because insulin is a storage hormone, it's an anabolic hormone, it prevents your body from breaking anything down, your body goes into storage mode. So when you're fasted, cortisol is high, insulin is low, that's one part of the theory. So that hormonal profile supports fat loss. The other side of the theory is that when you're fasted, your body doesn't have blood glucose, it doesn't have glucose in the bloodstream as a source of fuel, as an energy source. Because your body can't, doesn't have that, that blood glucose as an energy source, it has two options for what it can use for fuel. The first is glycogen stored in organs and muscle tissue. The second is body fat naturally. So the chances of your body tapping into that body fat are much higher because it's one of two fuel sources compared to one of three fuel sources when you're not fasted and your body has blood sugar or blood glucose. So those are the two kind of theories around why fasted cardio supports fat loss better than non-fasted cardio. In terms of practice, in terms of, you know, uh, anecdotally, does that ring true? I personally think it does. And I talk from personal experience, and I also talk from athletes who I have seen and athletes who I have worked with, clients of mine who have been preparing for shows. I've found that you know when we've gone from doing non-fasted cardio to fasted cardio, the rate of fat loss has increased significantly. So I generally think that anecdotally, the practice supports the theory. I think in terms of studies, in terms of empirically, are there studies that kind of support this? I mean, we can sit here and we can argue that all day. We can argue it's better, it's not better, so on and so forth. I don't wanna get into that argument. I wanna talk to you guys about that theory that we've been through. I wanna talk to you guys about the practice that in my opinion supports the theory. And finally, I wanna talk to you guys about how it fits into your race regime and how it fits into your lifestyle. The most important thing here, guys, with cardio, when you're looking at fat loss, is you have to understand that cardio is one of many tools in what I refer as your cutting tool bag that is able to push you into caloric deficit. Now, you know, because we've spoken about it a whole bunch in previous episodes of MJ Every Day, that if you wanna lose body fat, you have to get into caloric deficit and you have to maintain that caloric deficit over a prolonged period of time. We also know that when you get into caloric deficit, metabolic adaptation is gonna downregulate your metabolism to match that deficit, so you're gonna to have to be continually pushing yourself further and further and further into deficit to push through fat loss plateaus caused by metabolic adaptation. So cardio is one of the many tools that you have in your tool bag, along with reducing caloric intake, uh, fat loss supplementation, uh, training intensity increases to increase caloric output. It's one of the many tools in your cutting tool bag to increase caloric output and push you further into that caloric deficit. Because of that, I really don't care when you do your cardio if 
your goal is fat loss so long as it fits into your lifestyle. And let me explain this to you guys because I've spoken about this concept of if it fits your lifestyle a whole bunch already, but I wanna talk about it specifically regarding this cardio. If I tell you that you must do fasted cardio first thing in the morning before you have breakfast, Uh, on an empty stomach, and that's the only way, the only time that you're gonna do cardio where it's gonna be worth doing cardio, and that doesn't fit into your lifestyle for whatever reason, maybe you have to get your kids up early in the morning and get them to school, or maybe you work night shift, or whatever the reason, it doesn't fit into your lifestyle, it's gonna be like taking a square peg and trying to fit it into a round hole. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna be something that you can maintain consistently over a sufficiently long period of time to use it as a tool to get you into caloric deficit and therefore help you lose body fat. So the most important thing with cardio is firstly to understand that it's one of many tools to push you into caloric deficit, and secondly, to understand that it has to fit into your lifestyle for you to be able to do it consistently for a sufficiently long period of time to use it as that tool to push you into caloric deficit and help you achieve your fat loss goals. So when it comes to fasted cardio, just to summarize, I do think that if you can fit it into your lifestyle, doing cardio fasted, and this can be first thing in the morning, obviously on an empty stomach before breakfast is the ideal fasted state, but also then post-workout is generally considered fasted as well because your insulin is low and your cortisol is high. Uh, If you can incorporate that into your lifestyle, I do think that it's beneficial, but if you can't incorporate it into your lifestyle, don't stress about it just find the type of cardio and the time when you can do cardio that you can incorporate into your lifestyle because that is gonna be the be all to end all about how successful cardio is gonna be as a tool in your cutting tool bag to push you into caloric deficit and help you reach your fat loss goals. And guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day on Fasted Cardio. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com. Stay massive.